do up next on the call is Coach Heish Northern from Prairie View A&M. Coach Northern, are you with us? Yes, I am. Uh, good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine today. All right. Uh, Prairie View coming off of impressive 52-37 win over Alcorn State uh, this weekend and will return home uh, to take on Southern uh, in one of the late games on Saturday at 4 o'clock p.m. Coach, talk about the game, uh, your win over Alcorn and this week's upcoming matchup against Southern. Well, I, I think it was a, a pretty good game for the most part. I, I think we sort of lost our concentration level in the in the second uh, half, uh, based off of just what I saw on the sidelines, some you know some behaviors uh, in terms of maybe looking in the stands a little bit of smiling and laughing uh, because we 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 got out to a lead, but those guys just kept on plugging away. Uh, you know, we blew a few coverages, just just the things that just. I don't know. Good good teams don't do, but we found a way to win. Like I say, we, we'll take satisfaction with winning, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, we still have a long ways to go in terms of uh, being a complete uh, ball club. I, I think on the offense side of the ball, we we you know had a lot of yards, five thirty five somewhere in that range. Uh, both of our quarterbacks played well. We did a pretty good job of running the football. We didn't turn it over. Which I think was the was the real key to the game. Well, we had one turnover. Uh, they, you know, guys stripped the quarterback and ran it back for a touchdown. But um, you know, overall, I'm, I'm satisfied with the win. But uh, you know, we still have a long ways to go. All right, questions for Coach Northern from Prairie View A&M. Questions for Coach Northern. Okay, Coach, you mentioned the 535 that your offense was able to generate. Pretty balanced attack as well with 233 rushing and uh, 302 in air. Yeah, uh, it, it was pretty good. I, I think we, for the most part, uh, we, we did a good job of catching the ball. You know, some of the same plays we've been running, but we did a, a, a pretty good job of catching it, uh, making a guy miss. The wide receivers did, did a good job blocking for each other uh, as well as blocking for the running backs in the run game. We, uh, you know, we were able to crease them a couple of times. One guy get out of position. Uh, it's almost like option football, and, and uh, it, the ball can go a long ways, but... Uh, I, it was a great team effort from the offensive line, the quarterbacks distributing the football. Uh, Spencer Nelson did an outstanding job wherever we put him, uh, you know, making plays happen, and, and uh, it, it, everything just clicked on uh, yesterday, on Saturday, I should say. All right, you had two players that were selected as players of the week, um, DeAndre uh, Smiley, your quarterback, and your kicker, Chris Barrick. Um, talk about the job of those two guys uh, in the game on Saturday. Well, I, I think you have to be happy for both of those guys. The entry has basically been out since the Alabama A&M game uh, due to injury, and, and he didn't start the game, but he came in. The wind, the wind played havoc a, a little bit, and it helped us a little bit. But, uh, you know, when he came in, we had to win it out back, so I think that, that helped him open up the passing game uh, a little bit. And then getting that lucky play right before halftime with the uh, Hail Mary uh, added a lot of yards. To, to his uh, completion, uh, to the total yards that he had. And Chris Barrick, is, you know, he's had an up-and-down career, you know, won a couple games for us last year, struggled, uh, struggled with some kickoff issues early in the season. And even yesterday with a 40-mile-per-hour win, we, he, he wasn't hitting the ball as well as he wanted to. But he made his uh, field goal and made all seven on his PAT. So we're happy for him, and hopefully that gives him a confidence boost that will ride him through the uh, rest of the season. All right, and also uh, individual performers. There was only one 100-yard rusher in the conference on Saturday, and that was Fred Anderson with a 103. Yeah, he did a good job. Like I said, uh, the guy's downfield blocking for him. Uh, you know, he'll probably get some ragging in the meeting today because one of the, the Alcorn defenders ran him down. But he had a one real long run. And, he, you know, he's a very spirited guy. Uh, we're a team that goes running back by committee. We got a slasher. Uh, we got a guy that's sort of a bruise. And we got a guy that can make you miss in the phone booth. And, and Fred just so happened to be in when we had some plays where, you know, we did an outstanding job of everyone blocking. And uh, and it worked out for him. But, uh, you know, we he's a competitor, and, and we like that in him. Um, but, you know, we're happy for all of our guys' success. And uh, like I say, now we just have to focus on, um, you know, just keeping a level head because, you know, there's a whole lot of pats on the back and all that kind of stuff. And I think as a coaching staff, we'll have to, you know, quickly get them grounded back into, you know, what we need to do as a program to keep taking the right steps. Uh, like we talk about, do the things that winners do. Don't worry about winning. 
All right, Coach, um, looking ahead to this weekend coming up, a big one against Southern. Um, basically, the loser of that game is effectively out of the West race, and the winner um, still has an outside chance of catching the on UAPB. Talk about that game coming up. Well, we, we talked to our guys. It, the next game is always the biggest game of the season because if you drop this one, uh, then, um, you know, all the other ones sort of don't matter. If it, you know, it's sort of what we tell them. But, you know, just make a high priority. Just going out and do the things that we're supposed to do. Uh, we did class checks this morning. Everyone was in class. Uh, we had a 5.30 in the morning weight room session. Only one guy missed. So, you know, in my opinion, we're doing the things that winners are supposed to do. We practice tonight at 7 o'clock, and uh, I expect a very spirited, full practice, uh, full gear practice. And, and just like I say, doing the things that winners do, and uh, and like I say, the winning will take care of itself. Uh, I got to tell them, you know, I got a math degree. If you get the steps right, you're going to get the answer right most of the time. So let's just keep on getting the steps right. That's our biggest concern. And, of course, you'll be facing a team that's been a bit up and down. They've um, much improved since the first couple of games uh, of the season, and they'll, they they um, kind of let it get away from them last Saturday. They'll be hungry coming in. Yeah, you know, I, I had a chance to look at the film on yesterday, and, and, and like I say, their game against Pine Bluff was much like their game against Jackson State where they, you know, they got out to a quick early lead where it just so happened last week. You know, sort of before you knew it, they were down twenty-one nothing, and and sort of couldn't get out of that, uh, get out of that hole that they dug themselves into. But I, I see a ball club, and like I, you know, we talked about, you know, what worries me as a coach is there. I think they have an outstanding receiving core. I think they have some pretty good DBs, even though they're banged up. Uh, and uh, I, their, their kick return and punt return game is is great concern of ours. So you know we gonna have our hands full. Like I said, we got to do the small things right in order to uh, you know stay successful. All right, we're talking to Coach Heish Northern from Prairie View A and M. Um, the floor is still open for questions for Coach Northern. Do we have any other questions for Coach Northern? All right, Coach, I guess um, that's all the questions we have for you this morning. And um, we'd like to thank you for spending a few minutes of your time on Monday morning to um, talk about uh, the team. And we wish you luck in your upcoming game against Southern this weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, we'll talk to you next week. That was Coach Heish Northern from um, Prairie View A&M.